Hi, my name is Mika Putterman, and I'm the founder and artistic director of Autour de la Flute, a chamber music series here in Montreal. This is an original flute from 1780 by Tortochot, a flute maker in Paris. But there are theories that perhaps these were de luce flutes that were sold by Tortochot. That Tortochot was not the maker, but maybe just the distributor. Put a stamp on de luce flutes and called them his own because we don't know anything about Tortochot's workshop. There are three surviving originals. Two are here in Montreal, coincidentally, and uh, one is in New Jersey. The makers I know that make copies of Tortochot would be Jean-Jacques Melter in Paris and Boaz Bernie here in Montreal. Somebody purchased some beautiful antique desk and inside found a flute and didn't really want it and called up a friend of his who he knew might be interested in old flutes and said, hey, I've got this uh, thing in the drawer. Do you want it? I'll give it to you for 10 francs. This flute is in perfect condition and it came with uh, three middle joints. Two are at the same pitch exactly, which is around 412. The third is at 430. Perfect for playing um, classical music, French classical or even Mozart. The response is extremely quick and you can get a very um, smooth sound. It's brighter than earlier flutes and it just projects really well without effort. So you don't have to push hard, yet the sound cuts through, can cut through a whole orchestra. De Vienne was a very well-known flute composer and flute player, and he was the first teacher of flute at the Conservatoire de Paris. He was known for not liking the keyed flute. So keys were already um, invented by this time. De Vienne said that he can do everything that his students can do with keys without. For more information, visit autourdelaflute.com. Stay tuned for more episodes and more flutes.